this is a reminder that on Saturday, November 19th, Let's Play in the World Autism will be hosting an Extra Life charity webcast to help raise funds to benefit the McMaster Children's Hospital and the Children's Miracle Network. Look forward to seeing you then as we support this wonderful cause. People of the world, I have to be back with you here in Overall Autism for the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Secret of Mana. So last time, we started on our journey to the second of the three uber-long final dungeons, known as the Pure Land. It's an area that combines forests and caves and stuff like that, so we're currently in a cave right now, trying to make our way to the Mana Tree that was we were informed about by Gemma over at the tr at the tree palace and so now that we have made our way to this point let's continue on and see what else we can fight yeah so this was the enemy that was threatening us at the end of the previous episode and man we're pushing him back hard we just pushed him like nothing yeah like so soren has got a lot of spring in his step to start this episode and i mean a lot of it too bad he still can't score. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, my defense went up somehow. How'd that happen? Not that I'm complaining. Oh, it's you again. You know, kind of dealing with some hitbox issues once again. Yeah, that, that will be the primary reason that would discourage me from King from ever picking this up again is that the hitbox detection is just so bad in this game. Like, I'm, I can probably see people forgiving that if for no other reason than the fact that the AI knows how to score. And in addition to that, there's also the storyline, too. And it looks like we're not gonna stop at you until we have cooked you, so let's do that. I've got level 6, I have no reason to not give it a go. For 600 points. That is amazing. But hey, if I hadn't learned about being encouraged to level up my um, magic, I would have never gotten it that strong, in all honesty. And there is another boss here, and you look like you could be weak to ice because you have a fiery red and orange glow. We'll validate this in a moment. Okay, you also have Fire Bouquet. And that reduces my attack. You do Fear Undyne, which is what I was expecting. And I don't know why we're casting it over there. I mean, he's over there. Yeah, he's kind of over there. 500 points! 500 points! Of pain and suffering! That is also coming to Sarah. And for some reason, it it's scored 100 points less that time. Don't know why, but that's what's what happened. Yeah, there we go, back in the 500s. Yeah, 500 points! Oh, and you also can put people to sleep, too. But I think we dodged it. Because, yeah, there was no effect. Yeah, you did nothing! Other than just continue to bounce around. Yeah, everyone's just... Sarah and Soren are just staring at Sasha, casting like a madman, and killing this thing pretty much single-handedly. Like, you know how badass you are when your other party members treat your AI in just astonished amazement. But that's just how much ass we're kicking here. And we continue to gain experience levels every time we get something knocked off. Oh, and we're free to go. But what's over here? Absolutely nothing, unless there's a secret passage. No, there is not. Alright, no, it's just there for decoration, really. Let's move on, then. And fight more bad guys. And thank you for the gifts. Like, I don't know why you're so generous, but from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Before I let you escape, I might want to fireball 
the eggplant man just so that he can't keep spawning. No effect? What? Really? No effect. Well, I guess he got up his lucid barrier just in time. But now he's dead. I don't know, can I use Luna to cat siphon magic off you too? Heck, I don't even know if you have any magic to siphon off. Oh, you do? Well then let's take advantage of this. Let's take advantage of this while you're still alive. And another seven. Yeah, I like where this is going. I like where this is going a lot. And ten? Wow. Oh, Luna, if, if you didn't turn into a trampy goddess, I would l love you in a moment. But looks like we've depleted the last of your magic, so we're moving on. Yeah, if you didn't dress like a slut in Lunar 1, I might actually think you were likable. Alright, he's dead. You aren't, though. So I guess we're going to have to um, burn you. No, not you. I want to burn the ghost. Burn that ghost. For 276. Because, yeah, magic is the only way to hit this guy. Yeah, you just lay flat there like a ghostly puddle of ectoplasm. And you hurt first, hurt worse the second time. Like, why does that happen? Why does that happen from time to time? Kind of a head-scratcher. But we're moving on. Sora and Yuna are gonna need to cut us a path. Then Sasha, let's go back to you and use Luna again. On the Griffin hand and see if that gets us some po a few extra points back. Try 22, baby! Yeah! Do that again! Do that again, suck some more off of him. Yeah, we have an MP Absorb spell that's Actually useful! What a concept! Alright, we got another boss to fight, but is it gonna be this way, though? Well, I guess they... Yeah, we gotta do that again, so... Let's save the game. Yeah, because it's been so far so good for us. So what's off to the west? Other than you guys. <laughs> yeah, other than you guys. Ooh, nice move. Nice move there, guys. Yeah, Soren getting energized again. He's pumped up. He can't wait to beat these things up if he can ever score on them. We don't necessarily need to, because we're getting a lot of good scores from the AI. Oh, we got a we got another needle helm. Alright. Alright, everyone's already equipped with those, but very well. Alright, next boss. And you already look like you're going to be weak to fire. Because, yeah, you just have that fiery glow to you. I would not be surprised if Undyne brings about your undoing. For 3000 MP, or HP rather, you do indeed fear Undyne, but. Hey, was there ever any doubt? We had to be sure, lest I squander MP needlessly. And now Undyne is at level 7 for Sasha. So let's see how much this cast is gonna hurt him. Oh, and you put me to sleep too? Okay, so I guess it's 500 no matter what. So yeah, 6 casts of freeze, and he will be... Put on ice. Literally. Okay, we're gonna put you on ice. And you're gonna have to put up with it and like it, man. Yeah, let's see how you like it. When you get put on ice. Because you don't like it much at all, do you? <laughs> yeah, that I, I probably just butchered a... Um, New York gangster voice there. I mean, I do what I can to try and entertain you guys. I mean, if you didn't like what I do, you wouldn't even be here. But of course, your support is always greatly appreciated. Alright. 
there ever anything in these caves, or do I just have to accept the fact that I got the kill and I'm free to advance? Oh, you again? <laughs> well, why don't we fix that? Salamando to the rescue! Fireball 6. Maybe. Oh, I guess I just canceled him out. Now it's even worse for Sasha because he's been put to sleep. Alright, let's try that again. Hey, Plant Man, take two. There we go. Now we got it. Now we got it, and we've got you cornered. Fine by me. And Sarah grooves with the whip, which I believe is now maxed out. So, Sarah, why don't we change you over to something else? Yeah, the strategy I've been using of having Sarah and Sasha only using long-range weapons has worked like a charm. I I'm very satisfied with this strat that I decided to implement, and it's been working out perfectly. Wow, you haven't gotten much use out of the bow. In fact, Sarah and Sasha have both been lacking on bow. I've been wanting to use that more, but I just haven't been making a point to do so. How are you coming along on bow? So yeah, we'll leave you on that. And we'll have Sarah switch to Frizzbar. We'll have Sarah switch to Frizzbar and build that up for a while. Alright. And now that we've defeated that dragon, let's advance. We're gonna move on. Yes, please save it. There we go. Oh, now things are crying. Primarily because there's a ghost among us. Again. Well then, you know how we deal with ghosts. You know how we deal with ghosts. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I have no problem setting them on fire. Look, the punish should be spreading the damage around off of Salamando because of the fact that... Ooh, I guess you'll need three Salamandos to die. Well, let's split the damage here because I think you're close to being dead anyway. Acid Storm, what? Well, like... <laughs> wow, it destroyed him. We're still dealing with you. So yeah, I guess splitting the damage on a ghost is not a good idea. Anything that I would want off of you? Royal Jam, oh, wow. Um, for those of you who are wondering, um, that is a hard item to find. I think only Neko, the peddler, offers it, and it is a full heal of your HP. I mean, I have my candy and chocolate as well, but, like, Royal Jam would be, like, the last emergency item that I would want to use. Yeah, that's, that's something that I probably would use as a last resort if I ever run out of MP. Which hopefully we won't ever get to that point because the magic that I'm using can be easily siphoned thanks to Luna. Yeah, I've never... S Until I played Secret of Mana, I never have found an MP absorb spell that had a practical use. Because whenever you try to use the magical absorb ability in other games, it always measures as zero or one point. And that's it. Um, can I suck some MP off of you there, Eggplant Man? As you bring Need Lions onto the field? 23 points. It's why I do what I do. It's why I do what I do, man. Pow! You're dead. And your little friend that you spawn out of your ass is about to join you in, um, bad guy heaven, aka hell. Um, yeah, you might want to come around there so you're not shooting at the pillar there, Sash, or Sarah, rather. Oh, we're getting experience levels again, and we have to go to the right. Have to go to the right. Well, no nothing else. Whoa! <laughs> You're spinning on your head. I haven't seen the move like that in a long time in this game. Oh, ghosts are back in play. Well, if ghosts are back in play, we know how to handle them. Just a few casts of Salamander will get the job done. I always know I can siphon some off if I have to, and I can't even see where I am. 
Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Yeah, we're just mopping the floor with these guys. Yeah. Not in time with that cast. Yeah, you fell just short. Alright. Oh, do we go up? Yeah, we do go up. I was like, okay, which way are we going? And back to my trusty Salamando. My trusty Salamando. That all sounds like the theme song for an 80s sitcom. I don't know why, but it sounds hilarious. Now, is this where I just came from? It, can it can't be because I was just going up. It can't be because I was just going up. Yeah, we're just whacking these guys. Like, I'm glad they keep it fair as far as damage is concerned. Okay, more of you guys. Yeah, out of all the Griffin hands we've fought so far, only one's dropped the treasure chest. Yeah, I, I guess it's just as hard to get them to drop a treasure chest as it is to hope to get the um, rare drop that they offer. If I don't, like I said, if I don't get it, I'm not all that bothered. If I do get it, then I'll, I'll, you'll know it. Yeah, we're just, we're just slashing at him and he keeps getting, taking a hit. Like, he's trying to run away, but it's all to no avail. He realizes he's in way over his head. Oh. Is it another needle helm? Is it another needle helm you're wanting to give me? No, it's Royal Jam. Okay. No skin off my back, then. Oh, wow. Did we just... Wow. That was a quick kill. That doesn't happen often. But I got but I got it and I'm satisfied. Not quite satisfied with that though. Yeah. Where are you? Come out of hiding. Yeah, yeah, I think we're kind of getting in a situation where they're stepping up their game again. But it's always too little too late for these guys. It's always too little too late. Okay, I saw you die off the screen. Next boss duel. Oh, okay, you're new. You, d you definitely do not like the other enemies who came before you. You are the Thunder Guy, yes. I imagine you will be weak to Gnome. And we did not analyze you in time, which means we'll have to do it again once you reappear. Whenever that happens. Now let's try that again. Because you just looted my grasp before I could scan you. Alright, you have over 4,000 HP. I imagine you fear Gnome. You do. So let's go ahead and bring out my trusty Earth Slide whenever the Gigas reappears. Yeah, since we're fighting a Gigas, it's one of those patience fights. We have to take our time, let him come back, and then we teach him a lesson. Drop a rock on your head for 500 points. Alright, so yeah, it's the take your time fight. It's the take your time fight. Where are you going to spawn? Well, wherever you do it, you take a long time to do it. That's the thing. And drop some more rocks on your nuts. Yeah, well, by the looks, of, when it when it looks like the way that it does, it looks like we're dropping rocks on his nuts. It's as funny as you want it to be, people. But yeah, more rocks on your nuts. For 49. And it's an instant kill whenever he uses Blitz Breath. Good to know. Sasha, come back to us. We need you to keep casting. We need you to keep casting. So yeah, Blitz Breath is instant death. Good to know. So yeah, just keep dropping nuts on rocks on his nuts. Rocks on your nuts! 500 points! Keep it going! Before he warps away again! Okay, he's not warping away again. Good. Oh, but you hit me with Air Blast 7. But it doesn't matter, because it didn't do anything. Ow, he got away. Darn. He got away and dematerialized again. 
He dematerialized again. Alright, try it again. Drop box rocks on his nuts! Rocks on his nuts! 520 points! Do it again! Yeah, you keep casting silence. You keep wasting your time with that move. You keep wasting your time with that move, and meanwhile, I'll keep kicking your butt as long as you don't cast Blitz Breath. As long as, as, long as you don't do that, I'm perfectly fine. Oh no, not again. Okay. Oh, whoa. Well, it wasn't an instant kill, but it sure hurt Soren a lot. Yeah, we can't dodge the bullet there. We dodged a mass of bullets. And I am content to take the victory. Especially since we get full heals. Oh, I got another sword orb. Yay. I got another sword orb, and that is worth a yay. Alright, so... I don't know. We're at 20 minutes. Do I keep going? You know what I think? I think we'll stop it here. We'll stop it here because we beat another two bosses. And who knows how much farther we got to go in this place. So, yeah, we'll call it here because I think we're in a good spot right now. I mean, we're kicking a lot of enemies' butts and we're getting ourselves quite far into the pure lane. But, like I said, who knows how much further we've got into this place. So, we'll continue to explore it next time. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Nuts play of Secret of Mana. And when I join you again, we will continue to make our way through the Pure Land and hope that we can find the Mana Tree. But I imagine that we'll have to get through some more bosses in order to get there. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew with Novoral Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.